Hey, it's Joe Amoy, and I've got another great smarter dating tip just for you. Today, we're going to talk about walking contradictions. You probably know what I mean by this. If you look at the world that we live in, we live in a society where we say one thing and do another. We want one thing, but our actions and our choices are in direct opposition to that which we want. It's kind of like this. It's kind of like a person who wants to be in shape. And they know they're out of shape, but yet they keep eating crap. Or a person who's having financial troubles, and yet they keep putting things on their credit card. Or a person that says they want a great relationship, and yet they continue to stay with a guy who disrespects and dishonors them. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? So if you find yourself in relationships with guys who don't give you the continued level of love, honor, and respect you deserve, yet you continue to stay there and you continue to try and make it work. That's what we're going to talk about today because there's reasons for this. And actually, I should say there's a reason for it. And it comes down to one thing, fear. See, everything we do comes down to one or two emotions, love or fear. And there's that part of us because we want love so bad, it's ingrained in all of us that we try and make square pegs fit in round holes because we feel we may never find somebody else. We're afraid of being alone. This might be as good as it gets, so I might as well settle. I might as well take the good instead of realizing that you could have the great. So your assignment this week is to simply step back and look at your life as if you were an observer and see where are you in contradiction. And how you know is by this one simple rule. If you are getting the types of results you want and the experiences are good, then you're heading in the right direction. However, if you have a pattern of experiences, be it relationships or the types of guys that you date, where you say you want one thing, but your experience is the exact opposite of that, it's time to do a little bit of mirror time. And that's where you simply take a step back and look in the mirror and go, hmm, is it possible I'm contributing to this? Now, I want you to know that you are not alone. We all do this. We all have areas in our lives where we're in contradiction, myself included. But the key is to realize is that we are the cause of the contradiction. And that's the first step. One of my favorite lines is something that I coined years ago, and that's, Realization is the first step towards rehabilitation. So you've got to realize that there's a problem before you can fix it. And so you also need to realize there is absolutely, absolutely nothing, nothing, nothing wrong with you. You're simply a human being and you do things for specific reasons. You know, we all think we're so alone, we're so unique that our problems happen to nobody else. Well, you know what? There is nothing that you will go through or that you have gone through that someone else hasn't experienced. And the good news is, is that there's somebody else who's experienced that same problem, who's overcome it, and who now has the result that they really wanted. So if they can do it, why can't you? So you don't realize how great and how special and how powerful you are. You know, and a lot of this goes back to our childhood and how things didn't work out the way we wanted to. And we created these unconscious beliefs and these unconscious patterns, which helped us survive our environments but it doesn't help us as adults. So I want you to realize is that you have that power inside of you. All you need to do is tap into it. But the first thing you do is you need to realize it. So I hope this helps. I'd love to hear your comments. As always, we'll see you next time. God bless.